Welcome back to the mean streets of Bangalore. Arrgh. Today we are going to go to the highest rated restaurant in Bangalore on Google. It has a 4.5 on 48,000 reviews. That is absolutely absurd. So uh, it's got to be good. We're going to figure out how good it actually is. And if the highest rated, if the food has been so good in Bangalore we, we so far, food. how good is the highest rated restaurant going to be? Let's fracking find out. We're here. It's kind of here on MG slash Brigade Road. And um, we're going to go eat the food, walk around the road a little bit. And then we just have a fun day of activities planned here in Bangalore. So join us. You won't regret it. <laughs> Luckily, nobody was staring at us during that. Maybe somebody on the street saw it, but nobody saw that beautiful display. That's actually disappointing. A church. It's very busy, so that may be a good thing. Oh, oh. We're waiting. We'll see how long the wait ends up. People where well, we asked said they only waited five minutes. We'll see how long it is for us. We are in. We got in the restaurant. It is absolutely packed. And we got some cheese rizzoles. These things look absolutely dropping. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here's our amazing order. Look at all of this food. All of this food for like 1600 did you say it was? Probably. That's insane. Look how good these look. All right, let's eat some of these. Wow. That is very good. It's uh, It's sort of like the cheese balls we had, but even better. Oh my gosh, look at that succulent cheese in there. That looks like a gooey lava explosion from the pits of Mount Vesuvius. Whoa. Whoa. It's kind of like a... Wait, is there? I don't think there is rice in there, but it kind of tastes like an arancini from Italia. But it's in point form. It is amazing. It is literally just a flavor explosion of cheese. A little bit of spice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. This one chicken and this one lamb. Thank you. What the? Oh my god. What's up? Here's my phone for comparison. Here's my face for comparison. Um, excuse me. Wow. But this thing. That is extra large. This thing is like just a cheese and plate. I love the spices they put in there too. It just gives such an extra element to it. And that outside is nice crispy like a tater tot. Oh. Oh my god. I don't know how you eat that. Where's that cracking tomato? There it is. You're losing chips. Get out of here. There's three of them. Get out of here. Yeah. Right. It came up pretty quickly, actually, for how many people are here. Yeah, it's really, really quick. Oh, my God. It's like, it's like if you made a Whopper thick. Whoppers are usually, like, massive like this. They're really wide. Thick. Where is it all going to fall? The plate is tiny. My jaw locked. I had to open so wide. It's weird. Biting into it, I can tell it's a massive bite, but it looks so small. so tender. It is not like the chewy chicken that you're used to. Wow. That was so good. We had, we had good burgers at Plan 21 or, or Plan B. This is so good. Somehow 
the chicken is so tender, like you can't even tell it's not, you can't even tell it's a chicken patty. You know, like chicken patties, you bite into them, you gotta chew them up a little bit. That, no way. That is so tender, your mouth goes right through it. You get the sauce explosion, the cheese explosion, I mean the cheese burst. That is one immaculate sandwich, and the size lives up to, wow. Oh wait, chip taste test? That chip kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Why do they taste a bit stale? They're definitely stale. This thing is destroyed. The cheese burst does not survive. Oh my. Okay, so I got lamb for mine. Oh my. Isaac God. is notorious for having half of his burger fall out the bag. It's unfortunate, but it's true. so tender, I don't understand how it works. The first lamb burger I had in India was sort of like, in like chunks almost. This one is so tender. Here's our wedges. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. We got a lot of food. We still have dessert. This is so good. This is our last big meal in India. We gotta live it up. The cheese patty, really, it's just amazing. Amazing. What a place. It lives up to the hype. This is amazing. It's packed for a reason. It's gotta be the softest burger I've ever had. You can bite through everything so easily. Really? Wow. Yeah, that thing's good. It just looks like a fast food burger too from here. Just like a massive one. Alright, obviously we gotta try some of these. Like some chicken cheese wedges. So I'm gonna get a piece of chicken with some sauce and a wedge and some cheese. There we go. Lakes on there. Oh crack. Mike died. Oh. First of all, it's pretty hot. Second of all, that chicken breading. Look at this chicken breading. That is super crunchy, super flavorless Ch chicken breading on there. The wedges are nice, crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, nice seasoning on them. And that sauce, the cheesy, little bit, a little bit like spice to it, some whatever chai stuff is on there. That's really good. This is gonna be a lot of food. A lot of food. We'll get back to you for dessert. The chicken on that is good. Worst thing. Worst thing. Chips suck, one out of five. I agree with that rating. I could I would give it a zero if I could. Oh, I didn't show you. That was a lot of fragged food. I'm very full. I definitely did not need this and did not need an extra large burger, but it looked pretty cool. Uh, I'm so full. That we, looks really sweet. It does. We probably finished about 85% of the food. My burger kind of fell apart and to eat it with a fork and it did not it was not good to eat it with a fork that was the only thing that wasn't finished he jumped out on the starters though <laughs> i ate a lot of cheese fries all right this thing looks super good but unfortunately i'm so full so a red velvet brownie how do you make a red velvet brownie it's not brown it should be called a brownie Sweet as crackers. The cream on top, oh yeah, my gosh. I can imagine. Wow. Now I got the blueberry cheesecake. I thought it would be the slice, but it is the, oh my oh. cracker. I don't want, I, I just want a normal cheesecake. Gosh, there's a lot. Blueberry. Oh my gosh. 
This is just gonna be sugar coated. We might both over. throw up after this. We might. We have more things to do on our last day in Bangalore. Oh, this is very fluffy. Yeah, it looks more like whipped cream. Yeah, it's definitely more like a, definitely is. It's kind of like a whipped cream cheese instead of a cheesecake, like a New York style cheesecake, which is pretty dense. It's not very good. It's definitely not as sweet as this stuff. This stuff is sugar overload. Let's get down to the crust, the fast part. Cheesecake for us is the greatest thing ever invented, I think. There's nothing more delectable than a nice graham cracker crust what about on the bottom of a bunch of cheese. What about Ducky? Ducky is a fracker in his races. Does he even breach top 100? No. He might narrowly get into top 5k. But uh, this down here, best thing ever invented. Thank you very much. It is so good. I would just eat, whenever I eat a cheesecake, like a New York cheesecake at home, and there's crust at the bottom, like I, get, I fill out the whole thing, and then there's still the crumbs at the bottom, I take the cheesecake part, and I roll it into the crumbs just so I can get more. That's called uh, food uh, innovation. That is. I should make, we should make cheesecake like rolls. Oh, like the rolled ice cream, but yeah. with cheesecake? Yeah, and then it's just completely covered with the crust. Oh. That would be amazing. We're patenting it. Don't try it. It's coming soon. It's good. This place was incredible, actually. Like, this is probably the best place we've got in Bangalore. And it was cheaper than a lot of the places, actually. And we feel like we're going to throw up with the amount of food we got. Fantastic. It deserves the rating. I give that a five star. I give it a five star as well. Oh, I like that with you too. You can randomly see a little spire of cream cheese. <laughs> oh, more bangle or more Bangalore is coming soon. Hopefully if we, we live. live, if we live, true, we might walk down the street and just have to diarrhea instantly until we die. Hopefully, you enjoyed the food video.